Okay, today we're going to learn how to do cluster analysis on SAS Enterprise Miner. So we're going to start from the very beginning. Right now I have opened SAS Enterprise Miner 14.1, which is the most latest one today. And I'm going to open up a new project here. And I'm going to call this new project Cluster Practice. Okay, so I'm going to start from the very um, beginning here, and I'm going to open up a directory. So I'm going to use this SAS directory from C, the uh, basic location. I'm here. I'm going to go from C and then go to SAS. I'm going to open, and I'm going to click Next, and it's going to take a while as it uh, makes a uh, SAS cluster directory, and it seems that it has done successfully. and it's um, processing and here we go yes now we have opened up a basic landing page of SAS um, Enterprise Miner and I call this um, cluster practice you could see that cluster practice is here on the left top and you also see a cluster practice here for um, the practice it's the job that you're gonna do for your cluster analysis okay and if you could also check here now if you go to see you probably notice that a folder called cluster analysis has been formed okay so now you can have checked that the cluster practice is on your C and um, uh, SAS directory now from the beginning what we're gonna do is now we're going to load up a data so we're gonna do this by loading up a library and let's load a new library here and we're gonna create a new library and I'm gonna call this um, my lib lib. I'm gonna just call it my lib. I'm gonna designate that my path, and that designated path would be SAS again. Okay. The reason I do this is that this is where I have all my SAS data files, and um, so you should probably set your um, direct working um, path as the path that you have your SAS files. Okay. So I'm gonna just click yes and yes, and it seems that it has been all stored. Okay. So I'm gonna select my first data source. So I go to um, data source and I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a data source. Now it's looking for a data source. Now it is also looking for a SAS table. So you remember the C and the SAS directory is where I store all my SAS data tables. So that's where I'm going to right now. So I'm going to click yeah, next. Then I'm going to browse for my data. And remember, I'm going to click my lib because that's where I had my data sources. And right here, there are several data sources that I'm going to do. But for this one, I'm going to use task 9 because that's the one that you could be found on my web page as well. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. And now it's loading up the data. And I'm going to click yes. I'm going to say yes to the uh, data uh, table properties. I'm going to say yes, next, and so on. And um, yes, this is the roles that I'm going to do for my data. And so I'm going to hit click next. And I'm going to click next. No, I do not want to create a sample data set. No, I don't need to do that. OK, and um, for now, I'm not going to do anything. The role is going to be set as raw. So I'm going to just click next. OK, and I'm going to click finish and um, try to see whether my data source has been successfully loaded to my cluster practice. And yes, as you notice on the left top, right below data sources, now you probably notice there's a um, data task nine had been created. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to have a diagram to work all these functions that SAS Enterprise Miner has provided me. So I'm going to also right click on data um, diagram. And if I right click, I'm going to see a create diagram. So if I'm going to click that and ask for a name. And because this is about cluster analysis, I'm going to also call this cluster practice again. OK, so I'm going to hit OK. And now you will be see that there is a canvas that has been opened up. And on this canvas is where I'm going to do uh, many of the different types of um, data analysis that uh, SAS Enterprise Miner has provided me. So the first step that you, could, that you need to do 
is put a data on this canvas. And you remember that the first data that we used was task 9. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and drag and drop to my canvas here. And on this canvas now we have task 9 that has been um, loaded on this canvas. So this is the data set that uh, we're going to work with. And if I right click, I can see some different type of um, variables that I can set. And you remember this is the same line that you saw once we were loading the data. So um, this is how we're going to load it. We're not going to change anything. So we're going to cancel this just to kind of let you know that what different things that you can do with. OK. Um, now the next part that we need to do is do a cluster analysis. And in order to do a cluster analysis, we're going to go to this Explore tab, the second tab that you see right here. Click on Explore. Okay. And the second node that you see from the left, the, the left one, most left one is Association, and the second one is Cluster. We're going to click on this, and we are going to drag and drop this um, cluster node onto the right, and we're going to place it here on the canvas. Okay. Now you have a task data, task 9 data, and you have a cluster um, node here. And what you're going to do is that once you um, point your cursor to the right of the data, you'll probably see a little pencil there. And there's something that kind of extrudes um, out of the data. You're going to click this, and you're going to connect it to the cluster node, just like that. Okay. Now you probably see that these two nodes are now connected. And what next that we're going to do is we're going to right click and click Run. Or I can just click Run by using this um, person that, who is uh, assuming to run. Okay. So if I click that, it asks that you want to run this path. Yes, I want to run it. I'm going to hit Yes. Okay, and um, you probably see that it's running. It's on the green box. The task is on the green box. It is running. It has a bit of check bar. It means that it has run successfully. Now you notice that a cluster is running, and um, it's going to take a little while to let it finish, and it seems that it has finished. Okay, now um, it says that the run has been complete. Now what I'm going to do is go over to the results. Okay. Now, if I go over to the results, okay, now what I'm going to see, it has done a cluster analysis. Okay, so it has performed a cluster analysis, and it seems that it made 19 clusters, and 19 clusters is the number of, clus number of observations that we have. So it's not all that interesting, but it seems that that's the cluster analysis that um, um, this uh, cluster node has performed. And if I go to the outputs, if I scroll down, now I kind of notice that um, Notice that which cluster that is uh, uh, clustering each other. So it seems that it has the first cluster was observation one, and connecting that with observation eight, it seems that those two had the uh, closest distance. And it goes down all the way to clustering cluster two and cl uh, cluster two and cluster four, which was the last two that it was probably the farthest apart. Okay. It's not all that informative, but however, this is the first step of um, running cluster analysis. And um, by the way, this cluster analysis, one thing that you probably want to know is that if you go on to the right here, and it says number of clusters, okay? And um, there's two options that we could do. There's an automatic and there's the users uh, specified. And if I click automatic, which was the one that I, I had been using before. And you probably noticed that the maximum number of cluster is just 10, and you can't really change anything because it was automatic. What this do is doing is that SAS Enterprise Miner is actually using the hierarchical method of cluster analysis. So you have no control of maximum number of clusters that you're going to make. So this is actually equivalent to running proc cluster. Uh, if you are using on SAS. So, um, however, if you want to specify a particular number of clusters, what you would do is now you would go to user specify. And then now you probably notice that you could uh, change this number from 10 to whatever that you're going to have. In this case, I'm going to use 3. Okay. So, <clears throat> once I click on that, 
Now what I can do is um, run this again by um, clicking this again, or right click and ask it to run. Okay, so what this is doing is that now it is using proc um, fast cluster, which is uh, k means uh, clustering. So it's a different type of clustering that um, SAS Enterprise Miner is doing. And by specifying user specify, what I'm asking this to do is use the um, k means clustering rather than the hierarchical clustering. Okay, so now I do that, and so I'm going to run this. And it's going to ask that whether I want to run this path, and I'm going to say yes. Okay, so now SAS Enterprise Miner is running. And uh, it's going to take a little bit of while. Now we have the green check mark, so it has run successfully. Now I'm going to see the results. Okay. Now you notice that um, it has um, divided the uh, the clusters into three different parts. Okay, and you can notice that um, each cluster, the first cluster has four observations in this case. The second cluster has six observations, and um, the third cluster has nine observations. And um, if you go to the right, now you kind of notice that which country is going into uh, which cluster. For example, Australia is going to the third cluster. Austria also going to the third cluster. And um, so you're looking at the value that has the highest value of this um, column. It seems that England is going to the second cluster. Finland is going to the second cluster. However, France is going to the first cluster and so on. So um, you could see that probably the k-means cluster, or that is the user-specified cluster, that is the one that um, SAS uses, that gives a little bit more information than the previous one where you had the automatic case where you have um, no control of what cluster that you're making. So it seems that this is the one that we're going to use. Okay. Now, um, to get a little bit more information about um, cluster analysis, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Assess tab. And once I go to the Assess tab, there's a node called Segment Profile. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to drag it to my canvas here again. Okay, now it has a Segment Profile uh, node um, on the canvas. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the cluster to the Segment Profile. And I'm going to right click this again. I'm going to see what happens if I run this. Okay, hopefully this is going to get me some more detailed information about my segment. So once I hit OK, so now it's running. It's going to probably take a little bit of while again. Okay, right, it's still running. Okay, we got the green check mark. Yes, run complete. So I'm going to go to Results. Okay, so it's the three segments that we're going to see right here. And it seems that for each segment, it gives some word, part words of the, each of the variables, heart and weight, weight, wine, I'm sorry, and how much weight that it has been given. So it seems that for the third cluster, segment three, heart was a little bit more given than the wine. And um, probably um, on the first cluster, probably uh, roughly around equal weight is given to heart and wine. And um, you notice that on the right here, and this is how each segment would look like. Um, the red boxes that you see here is the overall average. You notice that this red line is all identical among the three clusters. So you probably notice that the red lines are all identical. Okay. Now this scale is a little bit different, but actually you could notice that uh, the red lines are all identical across all segments. But it seems that um, for the first segment you have for wine, it has actually a higher distribution in terms of percentages. And it also has a heart that is also higher in terms of the earlier part uh, or um, the less part of the uh, percentage of the heart uh, diseases. And also for the second segment, um, it has a higher for heart and less for wine. And for the majority of um, segment three, it's kind of all on the middle, a little bit higher on the middle. Okay. So it gives you a little bit more detailed inter information in terms of the segments. So um, 
we kind of did the uh, cluster analysis how to and how to run this on SAS Enterprise Miner. And um, that's there you have to just um, dra um, drag in the nodes uh, and connect them each other. And um, the two ones that I used were cluster and um, segment profile. And that's uh, these are the two ones that we're going to uh, is probably the ones that you would be using for cluster analysis. And I hope um, this was a good uh, introductory to SAS Enterprise Miner for cluster analysis. Thanks.